Hello, my name is Eric, a member of the support team here at Prototech. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the function called split solid face. On my screen, I have an impeller. I'd probably like to process this in a couple separate steps. I'd probably like to run that cone, and when it comes time for finishing, to finish that floor out separate. But when I cursor on it, I see it's all one face. It would be hard to figure out containment geometry for this. It's much easier just to modify the model. In my model prep menu, I run split solid faces. I select the geometry that I want to split, and I get a preview of my split here. It does default on wireframe. I have moved this down to the flow line function. This is what I'd like to use for this. So right now it's splitting via U. If I set this to V, it is now breaking it in the direction I want. I just come and snap to one of the ends of the fillets there and now my faces are split and I can process this part the way I'd like to. I have another example here. In this part, maybe I'd like to come back and finish this tighter area with a smaller tool. I have other ways of doing this. I have rest milling and boundaries and different things I can do. But I could do the same thing. Split solid face. Pick the feature I want to split. In this instance, I need the U function. Snap to the geometry. And now that's split off into a separate face. Or down over here, similar type of thing. Maybe I'll swarf mill this. That one face though there wouldn't work very well with the swarf mill. It's going all the way up the, the pocket. Split solid face, pick the face. I need the V function again. And now I have usable geometry for swarf milling. Hope you enjoyed our video and find the function useful. Uh, make sure to check out our other YouTube channel videos. Thanks for watching.